December 11th. Good morning. It is Tuesday, December 11th, and it's another testing day. But I just wanted to show you my Arne and Carlos sock. My first one is almost done. And what's interesting here is that um, the toe, or I'm sorry, the foot and the leg seem to have the same amount of pattern. So if you see the pattern color and then when the green starts again for the toe, it's the same length as the leg, which I think is interesting because um, my foot is not very large. I wear about an, a women's eight, probably about average to small. And the green came back for the toe before I was ready to start the toe. Like I didn't, I had, hadn't done enough rows yet. So I had a little bit of like seven rows, rounds in green before I even started my decreases. So if you have a larger foot or you're making it for a man and you've got even more stitches, I only have 60 stitches, um, you might end up with a lot of green at the end of the foot, which I think would look funny. It's like half your foot was green and the toe was green. So luckily it's not gonna be that way for me, but these are turning out super cute. Hopefully I can finish these and then start the new ones today while we're doing testing. See you later. So I've just gotten to the toe on my first sock, so I'm just gonna cut the green yarn and leaving enough tail to do the Kitchener stitch. And I guess I'm gonna have to pull the rest of the green out of that ball, but for right now, I'm just gonna Kitchener it. So I will speed that up for you guys. This little pack of notions with like little snips and um, different sizes of like tapestry needles because if I weave in my ends right away um, it's just it's done and I don't like wait on it um, so I have the little pack with all the notions and then this is the pack from Erin Lane that I keep like my whoops my measuring tape and a bigger pair of scissors and a ruler. So it's just nice to always have it there when I need it. And it fits into project bags and it fits into my purse, so love it. I think it's time to try the peppermint twist. This is gonna smell so good. The pine one that I got, I cut it in half and the scent still lasted for like I guess three days. It still kind of has the smell, but it's time to change it. So I don't know if it's because it's a natural wax, but it definitely lasts longer than the ones that I get at Walmart. So I think I'm good for Christmas next year as well. So I'm ready to start my second sock. And the directions say, pull the yarn from the center of the skein again, unwind yarn to the yellow starter thread and cut it off. So let's see how much winding it takes. I guess I'm gonna have some green that I can put into my uh, like granny stripe blanket and cozy memories. I'm also gonna have some of the, well, that's not true. I think I used all of the patterning. All right, I'll speed this part up for you. All right, this is ridiculous. So if you had a bigger foot, 
than me, for instance, which I only did 60 stitches, you would have like half your foot and toe be green, which I think would look weird. I wish that there was uh, more of this patterning part and then you could just cut it and then do your toe in the green, but it did work out for my size, so that's good. So I finally made it to the yellow. So I'm gonna cut, I need scissors, do I? I'm gonna cut green so that I just have a ball of green to put in my um, scrappy projects. And then I'm gonna pull this yellow out. Oh my gosh, there's so much yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. I'm tempted to rewind this because it's becoming very collapsed, but that might be a pain. I don't know. Oh my gosh, how much yellow is there? Seriously? So much yellow. There we go. And then I'm just gonna cut the yellow off and I don't have to worry about um, where I start my green because I know that I have too much green for the cuff. I actually cut and shortened it so it's only 20 rows long instead of like 30 or 40 rounds. So let's start the second sock. Um, I think I showed it yesterday, but when I'm casting on cuff down, I actually measure by my arm. So I do like an arm's length plus to my elbow. And that gives me plenty for the long tail. And then I hold my, I do magic loop on 32 inch US ones. I hold them together to start the long tail cast on. And I just cast on over both needles so that I get a really elongated stitch. And then once I'm done, I'll pull out the one needle. There's a little bit on how I knit my socks. All right, back to testing. To open up day 11, this one is called Dueling Club. Let's see, oh wow, this purple is amazing. My new favorite. In case you were wondering, this is what it really looks like when I'm winding. I think speeding it up makes it look like it's not a mess. doggy we're at our new house and this time we're good we're actually staying here for the first time tonight i'm so excited this one toaster was a little less enthused i think he was afraid we were going somewhere scary but we're at our new house what are yeah. you doing up there bud <laughs> you having fun in your new house What should I open? Uh -huh. I think this. <clears throat> Just trying to keep my yarn organized in this chaos. You gotta keep something organized, right? So here are my advents. This is the leftovers, and these are the squares that I've made so far. So I just need to add, this was yesterday's square. So add that to the top here. And this was today's, this is one of my favorites. This was called, um, I'm gonna forget, but that's okay, I'll put it on here. This is so pretty and I need to take pictures. You know what, I'll put those in a separate pile because I haven't gotten pictures of those yet. And then just add the little minis to the bottom and later on I can 
put these into my granny stripe blanket. Love it. May I come in?